Hello everyone, uh, just a quick short video today. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make your own meatballs. So this is going to serve four people. We're going to use 500 grams of minced beef, or you could use half beef, half pork. Um, you, you could buy 500 grams of beef, 500 grams of pork, and you could double the recipe and make more and you can freeze some. Uh, but today we're going to use 500 grams of minced beef. We're going to use two onions and two cloves of garlic. And for that, what I've done is I've blended it up in the food processor so it's extremely small and there's a bit of a bit of liquid coming out of there as well. Um, some salt and pepper for seasoning and some uh, dried mixed herbs. Uh, dried herbs are absolutely fine to use in this. Um, the taste will go a long way. And to bind it, we're going to use, I've literally all I've done is I've cut the crust off of one slice of white bread and I chuck them in the food processor and made my own breadcrumbs and one egg. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to fry the onion and garlic uh well more sweat it down not going to put any color on it just going to sweat it down and then i'm actually going to add that to the breadcrumbs so the breadcrumbs will soak up some of the moisture because uh it's quite an old-fashioned italian way apparently that um normally over here in the uk most chefs will probably just chuck in breadcrumbs um but over in italy apparently it's quite common that they soak their breadcrumbs in milk or they mix it with the onions and the garlic so I'm going to do this step by step. It's going to be a quick short video today and then uh, we'll roll them out into meatballs. All right, cheers. See you in a sec. Right, so I've got my pan on, heating up, and I'm just going to, I've chucked a teaspoon of mixed herbs in there. Don't be shy. Um, you can chuck whatever herbs you want in there. Uh, this is the good thing about the meatballs. When you do them homemade, you can chuck whatever you want in them. You can chuck chili in there. Um, carrot, you could do caramelized red onion in there. You can literally chuck anything, add your own little twist on it. So. Just gone for a basic meatball recipe here, just to show you how nice and easy it is. Now, a lot of recipes you'll see, it is say to add the onion in raw, but I find that big chunks of onion in the meatballs, before you fry them off, they tend to uh, not cook properly. They're still quite raw. So the reason we do it like this is we want to get the onion and garlic all cooked and then we're going to chuck it with the breadcrumbs, let all that cool down and then we'll roll them into balls um, and you also get less moisture out of the onion when it's cooking because you want the meatball to stick together because sometimes with the raw onion, with the big pieces of onion in there, um, the minced meat won't hold on to it and you find when you fry them off or cook them in your sauce, it's just going to fall apart. And we're going to try and keep them all together, obviously. So, again, just a nice medium temperature. Just give it a nice sweat off, and we'll yeah, we'll just cook these down, and then and we'll chuck them in our breadcrumbs. Right now, these onions have literally only taken about two or three minutes to cook. As we said, we're just going to sweat them off. We're not frying them, so we're not putting any colour on them. And all we're going to do now is we're going to add them to our breadcrumbs. I've added the onions and garlic to my breadcrumbs. Obviously this is still very warm um, and it is going to resemble similar, it's almost like a like a paste. Um, and obviously that's just because the moisture from the onions um, is uh, soaking into those breadcrumbs there. And we're going to let this cool down before we add it to the meat. Otherwise we'll start cooking the minced meat out, which we don't want to do that. So yeah, let's wait for this to cool down and then we'll make some meatballs. Right, now our uh, breadcrumb and onion mix is all cooled down and the reason it's important to use the food processor when uh, you uh, for using your onions and garlic is because you want it as small as possible you don't want big chunks of onions so like I said invest in a small little food processor and um, it'll do you the world of good when it comes to using some of your culinary skills so all we're going to do now is chuck our minced beef in there plenty of seasoning pepper and one whole egg and that's it so you can wear gloves if you wish however it's best just to get right on in there but you don't want to overwork the meat if you overwork the meat it's going to go very very tough so you want to try and be as gentle as you can but incorporating all those ingredients together so you just want to get your hands straight in there you know pull, pull apart the minced beef nice and gentle I mean, you could, be a, you could be a little bit firm with it, but you don't want to be squeezing this meat together. And is, you want to do it as little as possible until it comes to actually shaping the, shaping the balls. 
So I'll give this a little mix. Right, so after a minute or so of mixing, our mix is all done. So you can either do this three ways. You can either, I mean, this is for four portions, so you can either split this mix into four even batches and then get however many balls out of each batch. Um, and then you obviously got equal portions or you could just do it by sight uh, or you can actually use an ice cream scoop if you want to get the exact same size. So I rolled one by hand. So yeah, all you want to do, you want to just, just pick a bit of meat up in your hand in between your fingers and lightly, I don't want to be squeezing it. You want just a nice gentle roll between your palms and just to incorporate that, that meat together. Or just give it a go with the ice cream scoop. And it might stick sometimes, so you might just want to get a tiny bit of flour or something in the scoop, stop it from sticking. And then you've got your portion size, but it will be quite loose. And then you just want to roll it between your palms. So we're going to do that. And we'll get all these put on a plate. And we're all done, guys. It didn't take very long, it took maybe five minutes. I use the ice cream scoop because I think it's extremely easier. And I've got 16 very nice reasonably sized meatballs here uh, again this is a great one to make with the kids um, like I said if you don't like touching the raw meat you can wear gloves if you wish but um, like I said I encourage you to use your bare hands you get a get used to how uh, how your food it how your food feels and you know the textures and everything so but yeah you can do this with kids as long as you obviously wash your hands before and after um, but all we're gonna do with these now is I'm gonna put these in the fridge for about an hour I'm gonna bring them back down uh, to sort of fridge temperature a bit before I cook them but when we fry these off we don't want to be shaking the pan you know uh, over over excitedly so uh, we want to be nice and gentle we're gonna just what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fry these off um, and then I'm gonna make a bolognese sauce and uh, yeah I'm gonna serve it with spaghetti and garlic bread but uh, yeah it's a nice nice easy meatball recipe there um, again you can add your own twist to it you can put parmesan cheese in there um, different herbs but like I said chili um, you could even make curried meatballs you could do anything you want but that is a very basic meatball recipe they're absolutely delicious and I hope you try them soon so uh, yeah give me some feedback on this please guys and uh, let me know how they taste thanks very much